Good morning. It's uh, Thursday morning here in Cypress, Texas. So I've been doing the School of the Spirit. <laughs> and uh, so there's mm, a big, I'm like, okay, so what are we doing? All right, we're, we're learning about the real meanings of words. Okay. That's a big part of it. We're learning about um, the Paleo-Hebrew symbolic letters and their meanings. Okay. Um, we're learning about the temple, the tabernacle, all right, and, uh, <laughs> and how it's us, right, and how we have to um, learn, well, it, it just came to me as, you know, this maturity, right, a big part of it is us maturing. Right. And uh, coming to this greater understanding, and um, in this process, okay. So I'm like, what, what's, what's, what's the end goal, right? All right. And the end goal is to learn more about God. Okay. So this is. Um, uh, you want to become somebody who has a direct connection with God and the Holy Spirit. Okay. And that's knowing this stuff. Okay. And being able to teach this stuff to other people. Okay. So they know it, and so when you are, um, when you understand all this stuff, now when you are making that connection, that spiritual connection to God, it's uh, you you get closer to Him because you are understanding wants, your understanding, you know, what he means, okay, you're um, becoming more like him, more like Jesus, okay, and uh, at a certain point, you know, you'll get downloads, all right, and uh, then, you know, it's going to be, that's the way you are. That's how you're in communication with God. Okay. Now, you, um, there's, there's this really, this really interesting dynamic, like, okay, it was like, that's cool, I want that, I want that direct communication with God. Okay, but you gotta have it through an apostle. And people go like, ah, oh, no, I don't want to have anybody in between me and God, right? That, you know, that's, that's heresy, right? Well, okay, what's heresy is when you have religious doctrine that gets between you and God. Okay. And that 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 veils you from God. Okay. That takes away that intimacy to God. Okay. Um the uh huh. okay. When you have somebody who knows it's done it 
as she's been face to face with God, with God, with Jesus. All right. Then you have, that's when you have, um, you know, they're teaching you to do it the right way. It's like somebody who's actually really fought, you know, at a high level, teaching you how to box, right? You know they know what they're doing. Somebody who's been a Navy SEAL, actually been in war, been in shot at, done the job teaching you. That's, you know, that's how you become a Navy SEAL, right? You, uh, oh, wow. That's where you got taken down by lightning. All right. So, anyway, that is the process, okay? Um. That's the process. And, you know, there's a lot of things that are been in, in inserted into Christianity that are actually take you really away from it. Actually, their, their faith of Baal rituals and symbolism and all this kind of stuff that uh, got inserted into Christianity and diverting people off the right path. And nobody knows about it. Everybody thinks that they're being a good Christian when they're being a worshiper of Baal. 